Overall, the best way to predict a future is to design it. Do you know that every 2 minutes of energy reaching from the sun is equal to the whole annual usage of humanity? All the energy emitted in any form by cars, refrigerators, air conditioners, etc. Can you imagine a life in complete absence of energy? A non-renewable resources like coal, oil, natural gas which are available in nature in a limited resource cannot be readily replaced. Now think about it. Overuse of such sources of energy today and be left with nothing tomorrow or using it sustainably that will always have a enough usage for future. A warm welcome to iGen Battery viewers. I am Dr. Subhashri from iGen and basically a physicist by Academician. Today, I will be sharing about International Energy Agency's report on carbon dioxide emission. It has examined the full spectrum of energy issues including oil, gas, coal supply, demand, renewable sources, energy technologies, electricity markets, energy efficiency and access to energy. The IEA advocates policies that will enhance the reliability, affordability, sustainability of energy in its 31 countries, 11 association countries and beyond that. IEA member countries are Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Korea, Lithuania and beyond many more. Following two years of exceptional oscillations in energy use and CO2 emissions caused in part by the COVID-19 pandemic, last year's growth was much lower than the 2021's rebound of more than 6%. Improvements in CO2 intensity of energy use were slightly slower than the past decade's annual average. Challenges in 2022 contributed to the growth in the emissions attributed to the cooling and the heating demand in extreme weather and another 55 megaton of CO2 to nuclear power plants being offline. In an exceptionally turbulent year with Russia's Invasion to Ukraine, energy price shocks, rising inflation and major disruptions to traditional free trade flows. Impressive growth in the power, solar and wind generation helped prevent about 465 megaton of CO2 emission in the power sector emissions. Other clean energy technologies including the other renewable electric vehicles and heat pumps helped to prevent an additionally roughly 85 megaton CO2. Reductions in emissions from natural gas were more than replaced by emission of from coal. Emissions from natural gas decreased by 1.6%. Emissions reduction were particularly pronounced in Europe where they fall by 13.5%. Oil emissions grew more the last year. Emissions from oil grew by 2.5% to 11.2 gigaton in 2022. Around half of the year on year increase came from aviation as air travel continued its recovery from pandemic lows. Despite the promising growth in renewables, power sector emissions had the largest economic sectoral growth. Global electricity demand increased by 2.7 percentage. Overall, carbon intensity of electricity generation declined by 2 percentage, resuming a nine-year trend that had been broken in 2021. In United States and China, emission levels for the first half of the year were lower than in 2021 before summer heat waves reversed the trend. Europe saw the second warmest start to winter in the last 30 years and as a result, emissions from buildings were lower than anticipated. For the full year, cooling heating demand from extreme weather pushed up global emissions by around 60 megaton CO2, around two-thirds of which came from additional cooling needs and the remaining third from heating needs. This accounted for almost one-fifth of the total global increase in CO2 emissions. United States emissions grew in 2022 driven by rising natural gas consumption. The United States increased its consumption emissions from natural gas increased 18 megaton more than supplanting the 69 megaton decline in coal emissions. Energy crisis pushed Europe Union to cut emissions through clean power and demand reduction measures. Despite the global energy crisis, recovery from COVID-19 pandemic is proving more sustainable than the past crisis. Countries responded to the high energy prices and energy security concerns caused by the Russia's invasion of Ukraine with energy conservation measures, fuel switching and an acceleration of clean energy technology and deployment. Energy-related greenhouse gas emissions reached 41.3 gigaton CO2 equivalent in 2022. 
total energy related greenhouse gas emissions increased by 1% to an all time height of 41.3 gigaton co2 equivalent the co2 emissions from energy combustion and industrial process accounted for 89 percentage of energy related greenhouse gas emission in 2022 methane from energy combustion leaks and venting represented another 10 percent mostly coming from onshore oil and gas operations as well as steam coal production methane emissions rose to nearly 135 megaton of methane or around 4 gigaton of co2 equivalent in 2022 despite high natural gas prices data sources and method the iea draws upon a wide range of respected statistical sources to construct estimates of energy demand energy related co2 and other greenhouse gas emissions for the year 2022 Sources include the latest monthly data submissions to the IEA Energy Data Center, real-time data from power system operators across the world, static releases from national administration and recent data from the IEA market report series that cover, covers coal, oil, natural gas, renewables, electricity and energy efficiency. The scope of CO2 emissions in this report includes emission from all uses of fossil fuels for energy purpose including the conversion of non renewable waste as well as emissions from industrial processes such as cement iron steel chemical productions estimates of industrial process emissions draw upon the latest production data of iron and steel clinker for cement aluminum and chemicals co2 emissions from the conversion of flared gases are also included in the estimates for global energy related greenhouse gas emission The non-CO2 greenhouse gas emissions include fugitive emissions from oil, gas and coal supply. So do the earth a favor and be an energy saver. Thank you.